And we're back. Guys, it is another beautiful day working on the EG Wide Body Civic. It is not actually another day, I lied to you there. It's the same day. I'm waiting for the fiberglass to cure on the side skirt. Side skirt I started making. Now that said, we do need to start fiberglass this. It's time to turn the foam into a mold. So first step in that, we're gonna put some fiberglass on this, just some light matte, or probably cloth, probably go with a cloth, it's smoother. Then we're gonna sand it, make sure it's straight, and then we're gonna start hitting it with some mud. Let's go. Now the reason for the idea behind putting the fiberglass on here is to give it some strength. Because when we go to pull this thing off here, it's just gonna crumble. We wanna make sure it's solid. So we're gonna put some fiberglass on here. And then we'll make sure it's straight with the Bondo or the, the body filler for those that understand the lingo. And then it'll be nice and straight. We'll be, make sure it's straight with the car and the body lines on the car. And then we'll pull it off and start the mold process. It's gonna be a long video, guys. Let's go. Now, I know what you might be thinking. Well, why cover the wheel now after you went through all that and you already got all the foam on there? Well, as they say, better late than never. Why not? So we're gonna let this cure up here, guys. And once it's finished curing, we'll come along, make sure everything's nice and straight, and we'll start putting the body filler on there. In the meantime, on the back, before I lay any fiberglass, I gotta make sure it's straight. All right, guys, let's check out what's going on here. Definitely one of those, uh, what did I commit to moments for sure. But anyway, let's see what we got here. So I put the first layer of mud on here. I've started sanding it off with the longboard. Um, I was gonna use Orbital, didn't seem like a great idea being, I know there's waves in it, I wanna keep it flat. So anyway, first layer of mud is on there, probably one of three maybe or so. I'm just about to do this one here, get that one done. And then the side skirt still has to get done, although I did build it in fiberglass, so that does save a few minutes. But yeah, let's get some mud on this thing. Okay guys, we've got the second coat of body filler on there. We're gonna let that cure, come back, sand it again. This is the second layer on the front fender. Looks pretty good. Now while it's curing, I have some more work to do. On the side skirt we made, I only put two layers of one ounce fiberglass mat on it. And then I put one, a layer of one ounce fiberglass cloth on it just to make it smoother. So what I'm gonna do on the inside of it is I'm going to probably add a few layers of one and a half, if not two ounce. I think that's one and a half ounce layer to it so that we can strengthen it and make it stronger. This is not the one we're actually using. This is just going to be a mock-up of the plug, but overall should work pretty good. I definitely need to sand this. We're gonna need to prime it. There's a lot of work to be done here. So this is the part I've been regretting more than anything, to be honest with you. We have to duplicate what's on that side on this side is near identical as we can. Now that was actually the easy side because on that side, all we had to do was build it. Now we have to make it the same. And I'm not, I'm not sure how we're gonna get there, but we're gonna get there. We can make half the mess we made last time. That would be amazing. We learned from our mistakes. This time we're gonna start with a smaller quantity than a liter, so that if we have a giant hole in the bottom, it doesn't make a giant mess on the floor. Yeah, we'll give that a minute and see if we end up with a giant mess.
all we have to do is turn this into a mirror image of this. What could possibly go wrong? Here we go. Okay guys, let me take a second to explain what we have going on here. So obviously we have our initial shape, just like we did on the other side, that's why I'm not gonna get too in depth with it. All I'm doing right now is just kind of flattening everything off, making sure it's smooth before you apply our fiberglass. This side's gonna be easy though, because I'm just gonna copy the other one that I made for that side, so. Anyway, keep on moving here, things are looking good. Two seconds later. Houston, we have a problem. So, when I originally was building this, my plan was, I was intentionally building the fender a little bit lower and the rear quarters so that I could not lower the car as much and have a rough ride because I'm 40 and still be on somewhat stock suspension. But then I got thinking, what if in the future I want to sell these kits to people? Not many people are like me. So I started, as you saw, I was drawing the line of where the stock fender gap would be. And then I went to the upper line and the upper line signifies where uh, the body line where it goes from flat to in would be, it's approximately two inches. From what I read online, I also read online one guy said his stock wheel gap was 16 inches and that's impossible from center of wheel. It's impossible, this car isn't lowered. Even from the ground to the top, it's only 17s, I don't know. Anyway, so let me show you the problem. So that was problem A there. Not the end of the world, we're able to fix it. I'm fixing it back there currently. But then I came over here and I started fixing the other front one, the one we had the body filler on. And as you can see, I've created a giant mess. But more importantly down there, you can see where it has that jaunt because a giant piece broke out. So now I guess I have to fill it and start all, all over. I'll fill the gap with cardboard, spray foam, and go from there. It's like nothing ever goes right, you know, when you're building a car. But we are looking absolutely fire. I did fire a self tapper in the quarter over there to hold the side skirt on temporarily and things are looking pretty good. I still have not adjusted it down there, but it gives you an idea of where we're going. I think, I think it looks absolutely gangster, even though that fender well is kind of squared off. We're going to fix that, but we're in the right direction. Things are looking good. We keep on plugging away here and uh, see how many hundreds of hours I want to have in to how many hundreds of hours I want to have into sanding because this is a lot of sanding. It's a lot of mess, it's what it is. But uh, the rear one, this is the one we just started. Things are going good. Uh, the tape is just, there's, you can see there's foam underneath it and the tape keeps it down and keeps the air bubbles smaller. So 
Things are looking pretty good there. I'm gonna end up pulling that apart. I did get the shape back here. Now to refresh everybody's memory, this will not be filled back here. This will be open. So this will be like the panel will secure up here to the body and down there, this will be all open in here. I'm gonna get that fixed up and we're gonna keep going here. Moment of truth here, see how this baby fits. Can I get a oh yeah? Can I get a oh yeah? Oh yeah? Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh yeah. Yeah, I see what's going on there. Fix that right now, dear cousin. talking about. That's enough for one day, I think. Before we call it a day, let's go around and see how things are looking so you guys can actually see how things are looking. So we have a little more trim work to do there. We're gonna sand that, put fiberglass on there tomorrow. I got the wheel gap, wheel well gap looking a little bit better, but not perfect by any means. Side skirt looks pretty good, needs a little bit of adjusting there. Wheel well gap is fixed here. We do have to get the masking tape off here yet and down there so that when we fill it, we can get a nice straight edge like this. Fix the wheel well gap on this for the most part. I gotta obviously clean it up yet. This side skirt is on. It's all adjusted, everything looks good. I think I'm going to make this, I don't know. I was thinking maybe make this transition in here different, I'm not sure. I could eliminate that altogether, but it might look off. We'll come back to that. And then I started filling that wheel well gap too. There was a wave in here. So I started working on that with some kitty hair. And with that all said, that is a 17 hour work day. I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay guys, well we're letting the fiberglass dry over there. I think we're gonna move on to this side and kind of get things cruising over here a little bit. A little more sanding to do. No, oh, no, that's a lie. There's a lot of sanding to do yet. I do have a wave in the body line right here. I gotta straighten out. And then, uh, so I was originally going to put a primer, so backing up, I, I was originally gonna put a primer on here. But in order to put a primer on there and hide the scratches, we just go down to like a 320. And I sanded this in 40 to keep it straight. So you're gonna go 40, 80, then like maybe a 180, then like maybe a 240, then a 320. It's a lot of sanding. Then we prime it, then we gotta sand again. And then we gotta paint. Then we gotta paint in base and clear. I don't have time for that shit. So what I propose is we're gonna do it in gel coat. Picked up at Industrial Paints and Plastics today, some neutral gel coat. We're going to dye it yellow so you guys can actually see the body kit, the wide body. And the nice thing about the gel coat is it'll hide these 40 grit scratches. Now we do have to sand it again because we do end up with brush strokes in it. But the cool thing is it's one step. Boom, hammer it on there. We'll probably hit it in like a 220, maybe a 320, and then we'll go over to a four and a six and an eight and a thousand, then we'll polish it. And then finally, finally we could start the mold process. Now we have six pieces on here, you know, probably 150, 200 hours a piece to uh, make the mold. So we uh, got a lot of work ahead of us. Now I wouldn't lie, a smart person would use some sort of masking tape to protect the paint on here. Being we plan on painting the entire car anyways, 
it's kind of relevant at this point. So we're just going to keep scratching the paint and wrecking things because we're going to have to prep the whole car for paint afterward anyway. And that is the reveal. I can't wait to show you guys. Okay guys, so a couple of things that have really tested my patience today, I'm gonna to show you. Number one is this wheel well arch. I have spent probably six hours on it, trying to get it right. This is my last attempt, and then I'm scrapping the whole thing and redoing it. And then I had this idea that I wanted to change something up here. So what I'm doing down there is I've got foam I just put in there, along with that mess I created, and I'm gonna try and close up the gap a little bit between the rocker and the flare and see what that'll do. This flare is looking good. I think it should be the last coat of mud I have to put on it. Um, but yeah, we'll see. And then I can do it all over again on what I created there. I've come to realize I create my own problems because I have these ideas and uh, like this, for example, like why, why wouldn't I commit to thousands of hours of sanding when it's nice outside? Anyway, I digress. I think that looks much better. I gotta fix that hole right there, but definitely flows better. I think I might do a different transition there maybe. I'm not sure. Man, it's such a weird area. Just like this looks better, but I'm not sure about that. So it would seem as though the hardest part of this job so far has been making a mirror image of both sides. It seems like every time I turn around, something's not right. So this side, I actually ac accidentally made an eighth of an inch wider than that side, which isn't the end of the world. The problem is it throws off this entire shape, which sucks because this side's actually better than that side. But anyway, it seems like every time I turn around, it's, uh, it's something else. But nonetheless, we're moving in the right direction and we're getting things done here. And it's uh, all a guy can ask for. All right guys, so here we are. We've got, I'm just fixing the wheel well gap on this corner, like the last one. I've got a few low spots I'm fixing back here, like this, and cleaning up the edge, and then we can finally finish that one. The side skirt's pretty good. Needs a little more work there. Went over to this side. This wheel well gap's about an eight out of 10. It needs a little cleaning up, not too bad. Side skirt's about the same, and this one, Got one little low spot I gotta fill right there. 
cleaning up the edge. So I do to put the tape on here to show you guys here and then it cleans it up nice and nice and sharp. Well guys, I think we're gonna call it about good on this video. Kinda disappointing that this is car building. You know, sometimes things just, uh, they don't go as planned. But at least we know the next video, the direction we're heading in, and I will see you guys there. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.